Beach Boys. Reminds you of summer, doesn't it? Okay. Out of the pool. That's it. All right. My mental math glasses. Yeah. Link. Link. Example 11, the very cool lifeguard Link. I am not Link. Trust me. However, Link is a 65 kilogram lifeguard sliding down a water slide. It is a ramp, essentially, 35 degrees, 35 degree angle. That 35 degree angle is right here too, same thing. If you kind of twisted this around, these, these triangles are the same. Okay, they're the same. Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to find how fast Link is accelerating down the ramp. Okay? Well, <clears throat> we need to find the net force if we're going to find out the acceleration. Well, this force is the the FP. That's this force that's parallel with the ramp that you feel it when you're sliding down something or even going downstairs. There's like a there's like a force that makes you kind of want to topple over or run down the stairs fast as opposed to coming up the stairs. It's this push-pull feeling. Less than your weight, but it's something. You feel it. Uh, in this case here, there's going to be a counter force. It's going to be the friction, FF. As FP. And then what you'll have is when you take these vectors and you add them, you get the net force. Easy? That's what we have to determine. So, we have to find FF, we have to find FP, we subtract them to find F net. Easy? Okay. Let's erase some of this. Okay? Right. Now, FWZZ will use G, we'll use 10 meters per second squared, 10 times 65, 650 newtons. As you know, that's going to be FW cosine theta. FW cosine theta will be 532. Verify that math. 532 newtons. Okay? FP will be FW sine 35, right? FW sine 35. And that will be 373 newtons. And FF point zero five times FN. So point zero five times five three two point zero five times five three two is going to be twenty seven. Easy? 27 newtons. Okay? Now, and that's going to be FF. Now, we know that F net, FP minus FF, FP minus FF, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> so that's going to be 373 minus 27 is going to be, get it? 346 newtons. Easy? 346 newtons. Yes? Okay. So, my F net is 346 newtons. All right? Let's, let's review what we've done. All right? I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase this. Okay? I'll erase this. I'll erase this. I'll erase this, okay, and the, 
the net, this force, F net, is 346 newtons. Right? Now, when you think of net force, go back to linear motion. Something is a constant velocity if the net force is zero. Something is accelerating if you're pushing it. it. It accelerates. That's nothing new. We don't need to study physics to know that if I, if I, if I accelerate something, or if I have a net force, it's going to accelerate. I press the gas pedal in the car. That's a force. The car accelerates. And it will accelerate as long as I apply that force. You can't accelerate forever, but as long as you apply that force, you will accelerate. Easy? All right, now. So we know, we know that acceleration is F net over M. We know that, right? Acceleration is a quotient of I'm sorry, acceleration is a quotient of F net over M, right? So, so this is going to be 346 divided by 65. 346, 346, put in your calculator, divided by 65 is going to be 532. So that's how it's going to accelerate. Easy? 5.32 will be links, 5.32 will be links acceleration. Thank you very much. Have a good day.